Hi, this is Joshua, continuing our Tools Overview video tutorial. Um, if you haven't watched the first part, you might want to, because this builds on top of that. I am logged in and on my MyHub homepage, which is where we'll start. In the My Sessions section of the MyHub page, we see we have an open instance of the Crystal Viewer tool. Let's go back to the tool. The first thing I want to show you is that you can share your tool session with other NanoHub.org users. It's pretty easy to do. Just look for the Share Session section at the bottom of the page, and in the text field, enter a user or multiple users uh, separated by commas. Check the Read Only box if you want other users to only be able to view the tool. And finally, share it by clicking the Share button. All done. We can verify that the other users have access to the tool now at the bottom of the tool page. It says the session is shared with and then lists the users. Now I'm going to switch context here and log in as Jay Morris, or the user I invited. Now depending on my mail preferences, I might have received a message saying that the tool was shared with me, and I can see it here on my MyHub page. Also of note, you can see the owner who started the session, as well as a button to disconnect yourself from the session. So let's go on and look at the tool. Because this tool was shared to me with access to modify its contents, if I change anything, it will propagate immediately to the other users. So we're basically collaborating. Now, even though this tool was just shared with me, I've never seen it before. I'd like an overview of the tool as well as some statistics to gauge its popularity and usefulness. So I'm going to go to its homepage. Now the tool homepage has lots of useful information on it, but we want to take a look at the summary in the upper right corner of the tool page where you can get a basic at-a-glance idea of lots of different bits of info. Here I see the tool's aggregate 8.7 ranking. I can also learn more about how ranking is calculated by following the blue links in the pop-up on the left. Below this, we see a badge indicating that the Crystal Viewer tool is supported by the Network for Computational Nanotechnology. All this badge means is that we devote official time and resources to maintaining and improving this tool. For tools that aren't NCN supported, support requests and suggestions for improvements will be routed directly to the developer of the tool itself. We would like to emphasize that this distinction does not necessarily indicate anything about the usefulness or the quality of the tool. Next, the number of active users with a link to detailed usage information about this tool. A link to questions. You can also ask a question here. A link to user submitted reviews. A link to the wish list where you can view wishes that have been made about the tool or make your own. All known citations of this tool in journals or on the internet. A link to add this tool to your favorites list so that you can get back to it quickly. And lastly, a list of icons linking to popular social networking sites where you can easily tell your friends about this tool. I'm going to save this tool to my favorites so I can come back and learn more about it soon. If I return to my MyHub homepage and click on the Favorites tab in the My Tools section, I can see that the Crystal Viewer tool is listed there now because it's been marked as a favorite. Clicking this will take me back to the tool homepage. Many tools have lots of information on this homepage. You can navigate the homepage sections by using the tabs pictured in the lower left part of the screen. We recommend that you investigate, check out usage, questions, reviews, and all the other information. It's very interesting. Thanks for watching.